I think creating a nature documentary has to be one of the trickiest film propositions out there because you have to tell a story of what is happening in real life and in nature and at the same time stay compelling for like a two hour length. Uh, one of the movies that did it well was March of the Penguins and there have been many that haven't done it well. The question is did chimpanzee land more towards March of the Penguins or more towards the other nature docs. The truth is, it's kind of the best and the worst of nature documentaries. Uh, the movie Chimpanzee follows this group of chimpanzees as they kind of fight for their territory in the rainforest and specifically follows this young chimpanzee named Oscar, who we're supposed to fall in love with, uh, through his story of well, let's just say his story, because I don't want to give a lot away. There are many things to love about this movie. For one, it is gorgeous. It looks absolutely beautiful on the screen. The beautiful greens of the rainforest and the beauty of these animals and how they swing and interact is, is just absolutely stunning, as well as adorable. It's really, really cute. This little chimp, Oscar, uh, from the time he is a little one, as we follow him as he grows up a little bit, is just fun to watch and just absolutely adorable on the screen. The problem is it gets kind of boring in places. It's just kind of that nature documentary thing that falls into where what's going to happen next? I'm not sure you know what you're trying to show me here. There's not much to learn at this point. And the truth is it also tries to kind of really add a human element to these chimpanzees that really probably isn't there. It's amazing how much they want to add human emotion to what they're feeling. And the narration done, I thought, fairly well by Tim Allen, uh, really likes to put motives behind their action. The real problem I have behind this is it's nature. And why are we supposed to root for one group of chimps over another? Just because Oscar's there, because he's cute? Uh, also, there's a scene where they're hunting for food and they hunt another species of monkey for food. What about those little guys that just got torn apart and eaten? I mean, I'm just saying you can't pick and choose where you want me to put human emotions into these animals. They're either animals or they're not. And that's kind of where I think Chimpanzee falls apart a little bit. It is shorter than most na nature documentaries. In fact, I think it's less than an hour and a half, so you're not going to spend a lot of time in the theater. My fear is that if you go, much of that time you'll be bored anyway.